Hey guys, Matt Kelly here. Now, uh, this is potentially a bit controversial, but the fiberglass uh, boat project, the restoration project, that I posted on my channel early this year, which I'm super proud of. Um, we finished that boat in, I think I, think I did four videos on that boat. Um, learned a huge amount, and you guys actually gave me a heap of advice in the comments. I've taken that advice, and I have bought a new boat that I'm sitting in the cabin of right now. Now, this is a little bit controversial. Um, to be honest, I thought I was buying something that didn't need as much work as the the old uh, uh, little 12-foot Yalta craft. However, uh, that's, this is a problem with buying sight unseen on the internet. You end up with things that um, are potentially more work than you thought they were. Now, I'm excited. It's a great base to start from. The big unknown for me was engine, and the engine here is sound, which is amazing. Uh, got a few new, nice new features, new seats, uh, new VHF radio, but it definitely needs paint, it definitely needs cleaning up, it needs carpet, it needs some, uh, probably some reupholstery inside. It needs some work, it needs some work. So I'm going to vlog it, I don't know whether I'll do the same format and as much depth as I did in, in the past uh, boat build, but that's where I'm at. If you... Um, if you liked the old boat, it is currently for sale. I have it up on Gumtree and um, and in a few Facebook groups. I know, in fact, someone who watches these videos has uh, did see it in one of the Facebook groups and said that he, he'd watched it. So, um, if you are interested and you do want to uh, want to buy it, send me a message in if through any of the channels. Uh, as always, I'll make sure I put something in the description. Uh, so feel free. It's a great boat. I'm really proud of it. Um, I've done some work on it since the since the videos. I put a rear anchor light up, uh, the all-around white light, which is um, I'm actually really proud of that. A little nice little attachment, so it clips in, sort of remo removes it. It's got a little cover over the over the the uh, the port that it sticks into, and then um, it sort of gets stowed away really easily. Um, yeah, I, I I love the boat. It's just uh, what I've learned is. For the waters that I take it in, it's not ideal. It's not a good. It's not a good rough water boat. It's okay in light, very small light swell, or if um if the wind picks up and there's a bit of spray, it's actually pretty good for that. But when the swell picks up, it's obviously got that quite low front on it, as I'm sure I'm, I'll put some um some video on top of this so you'll be able to see. Um, and that does not go particularly well while you're um while you are while you're out motoring. Um, a, f a few little situations where water sort of didn't come waves didn't come over the front, but I got to the point where I was like, it could and um. And that's what's made me jump up to, to what I'm in right now. I'm not gonna, gonna show you too much. That's enough for now. Um, I'm just stripping right now, just getting rid of as much as I can. So um, so I'm gonna keep at it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. This is gonna be a, a bumpy ride, but I'm excited. Talk to you guys soon.